Hey, what's up guys? The undefined variable here. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own big out slash bucket Minecraft plugin. Um, so, you can get right into it. Um, starting off with the basics. We're going to be coding with Eclipse, which is a an IDE program. Um, links will be in the description for the things you really need to download. So, you're going to go to Eclipse.org. Right here, press download. You have to select it. It usually shows, um, let's see, it shows the versions. Usually it detects the version you're already on. Make sure you obviously get 64 bit if you're 64 or 32 slash 86 if, you know, that's your computer. After downloading Eclipse, you're gonna uh, open it up. And before we do anything in Eclipse, you're going to need to go, I'll put this link in the description, you need to download the Java JDK. From here, um, download this one, uh, sorry, that one. That means with JDK 8. Uh, you click download, accept license agreement, just accept it, and you choose for your version. Alright, and after that, here is what Eclipse looks like. And I forgot to mention, you're going to need to download um, Bucket slash spigot server jar which will also be in the description uh, save that anywhere so it's good when you first load up Eclipse it's gonna ask you to save for a workspace that's where all the files for your projects are gonna be so put it somewhere you know where to access if it doesn't you could always go to file switch workspace other and then um, it'll ask you okay so we're going to start by creating our first project. So up here you want to go to File, New, Java Project. Uh, you're going to name your project. I'm going to name it um, YouTube Tutorial EP1. Just so if we need to access them later we can. Um, it should, uh, if it doesn't, if it's not using the JRE we downloaded before, right click and you want to go to properties at the bottom um, Java compiler and you can untick that and you could select the one we're going to be using a 1.8 because that's what we downloaded so first you're going to click on the source and right click it file package so packages are figure they're the folders where your actual classes are going to go and your classes are what your actual code is um, they're usually formatted like this me dot whatever your username or name is dot and then usually the plugin so I'm going to do um, yt tutorial ep1 actually I'm just going to do me dot tutorial save that so Next, what we're going to do is new, and then you want to go to class. So, I'm just going to name this class main. Uh, you'll see why later. You just click on the name, uh, make sure that's ticked as public, and press finish. And here is your first class. Uh, don't worry if, um, you know, your window's a little bigger or something like that. You know, we all have our preferences. Now, before we get into any of the coding, you want to right-click. You want to go to here, you know, your folder where you your project. Right-click it. See this build path tab? So you want to go so it shows this little list. Press configure build path. Next, you want to you want to go to libraries. The libraries tab up here, and press add external jars. So here we are in the YouTube server folder. And we are going to scroll down to this, the spygot.jar that I'm going to be using. I'm, this is 1.8 uh, Java. You could do this for 1.9. Um, and I'm going to be honest, I haven't tested for 1.7 plugins, but it should be fairly similar. Press apply and then press OK. So, let's get started. You have your, set, your thing here. This is your package. This is where the file is stored. It's stored in the folders me, Darth31, tutorial and the class is called main. So 
This is our first tutorial. We're going to do a simple plugin one file. So your main file, it doesn't have to be called main, but it always has to extend a Java plugin. Extends means that you can use methods from it and the computer recognizes it as that type of class. So you want to do extends and make sure it shows up in purple. Capital J, Java, capital P, plugin, one word. And then here's a little tip. If you're on a Mac, Command Shift O and I think Control Shift O if you're on Windows, that imports it. So this is accessing it from the spygot slash bucket jar and saying this is a Java plugin. Now to access methods from the Java plugin class, we need to do something called an override. So you do at override public, meaning that other classes can use it, void, meaning that it doesn't have to return anything. On enable, just like that, lowercase o, capital E, on enable. We're going to make a similar one with an add override called public void on disable. So this is when the plugin loads up, uh, and make sure you open curly, curly brackets and close curly brackets. So what we're going to do now is actually code. Um, what the on enable does is when the plugin first starts up. So what we're going to do is we're going to do get logger dot info quotes. So this is going to say the name of our plugin and whatever message we put. So we're going to I'm going to do YouTube tutorial EP1 enabled. And over here I'm just going to copy and paste this message and change that to disabled. Now, what is this plugin, you know, going to do right now? We're going to start off with a very simple, uh, I said one class tutorial. I'm going to make it two because we're going to be focusing on a command. Very simple command. So you want to click on your package again. And instead of right-clicking it, pressing new, and then class, you could just press the little C with the plus up there. Name it. I'm going to name it command. Uh, command. Okay. So our command is going to implement, is going to implement, Im implement, can't spell, Im implement, implements, and then you want to do command executor and then import that from bucket. Now, your name of your class is going to be underlined in red. That's because uh, when it implements something, it needs uh, specific things. So you could hover over it and just press Add on Implemented Methods. It puts in an override, just like we had in the main. I'm going to go through this. So, public boolean means it returns something. A boolean can return true or false. I'm going to have that return true. So, command sender arg. So that is the thing, I say thing, not person, that sends a command. It could be a console or it could be a player. So I'm going to name that sender. Next, org.bucket.command. So this is the command itself that, that the person slash console runs. So I'm going to name that cmd. We're not going to focus on this. This is an alias for the command. And we're going to name this args. Uh, we're not going to be focusing with that either. That's for arguments. That's for later. So... We're actually not going to be doing permissions right now, even though it's really simple. We're just going to do a different meth message depending on if the sender is console or if the sender is a player. So let's get started. If sender instance of player, and then open. So if the sender is a player, we're going to want to return true. And we're going to want to do sender dot send message. Quote. I'm going to teach you how to do colors right now. So you want to do chat color, just like that. Dot translate alternate color code. You can do TR and then double click that. So what this is going to do is close it. You put a single apostrophe and then the and sign in there. For those of you familiar with plugins like essentials and stuff like that where you use the and color codes this is exactly what that does so now we can do and b and l a player 
sent the command. And then we could do an else after, so the if statement opens the curly bracket. After the end of the curly bracket, you do else, open it up. We're going to have it return true again, and we're going to do sender. Okay, we're going to do sender that send message. Uh, we're going to do it in red, dark red, and the console sent the command. So you might say, okay, but what is the name of the command? I want to be able to change the name of the command. You go into your main and make sure it's in the curly brackets for the on enable. What you want to do is you want to do get command. Uh, make sure you have your parentheses, and in the parentheses, put the name of the command. So I'm going to do um, message dot set executor. Then you want to type new, whatever you named your class. So I named my class command, and then put parentheses. So that's telling it the command message runs from that class. And, uh, oh. I realized <laughs> tutorial. I just realized I made that spelling mistake. Tutorial. The more you know. So to finish up this first episode, we're obviously going to need a plugin.yml. If you've worked with plugins before and you see, oh, this plugin is named that, the author is that, the version is blank. That's what we need. You need a plugin.yml to run this. So you you want to right click it, new file. You know, leave that. It already selects the folder. You want to name it plugin.yml. It opened it in Text Wrangler for me. So right now I'm in Text Wrangler, which is a text editing document for Mac. I don't know if it's for Windows. I think it is. So you want to do the following. Name, colon, the name of your plugin. I'm going to do tutorial EP1. Next, you want to do main, colon, and we're going to do up here, you see the package me.darthteddy1.tutorial me dot darth teddy one and you need you know caps and everything just like it is tutorial dot and then the name of your main class which is main and I put a capital M there because that's the name of our class capital M next version I'm just gonna do 1.0 next commands colon put a few spaces um, you know, I put like four spaces. Uh, so we're going to do message. You need to do the name of your command that you did there. You see my command name, message. Colon. Oh, I already put a colon. Next line, a few more spaces. And we're, you need to do um, description. Colon. Um, main command for EP1 I'll do. And that's all you need. So save that. And now we're going to go over actually using your plugin, the fun part, seeing your work pay off. So right click YouTube tutorial, scroll down to export. So you want to go to Java, jar file, not runnable jar file, but jar file. Press next. You don't need to do the class path on the pro. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I am back. Let's close that. My Eclipse was acting a little slow, so I decided to restart it. We have commands. Nah. Me. That Darth Teddy one. That, uh, let's just name that tutorial EP one. I don't know if you can have numbers in there. Me. That Darth Teddy one. That tutorial. Dot main. Make sure that's right. Extends Java plugin. All right. So now I'm going to export as Java jar file next uh, we're gonna do all the things uh, plugin YML things so let's do that jar file browse and we're gonna save it as uh, EP1 and just press finish Oh, so, so what's going to happen is sometimes it'll say resource out of sync. 
all that means is you need to refresh your plugin because it's not on, you know, it didn't update. You can just right click and press uh, refresh if I can find it. Or do what I do is on a Mac you press FN F5 and on Windows you just press F5. You'll see like a little thing hop up, pop up instead of your mouse for a second. And all that means was it refreshed. So we are going to actually do the class path and the, pro and the plugin YML. Browse, EP1, save, finish. And see, confirm, replace, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so here it is, EP1 plugins. Uh, let me delete that, that's an old version. Alright guys, so, uh, oh, I'm an Alex, oh, the server's on offline mode. Um, doesn't matter, so that just means that my skins won't load right now. So, if we reload, slash PL, there we go, our plugin is loaded, tutorial EP1. Next, slash, message, a player sent the command. Now, let's head over to the console. Alright, so I'm in the console, um, sorry if the green is hurting your eyes a little, but that's the way my console looks. So let's do slash message from the console. And as you see in red, it said the console sent the command. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode and want to see more in depth tutorials in the future, please leave a like, subscribe, and put comments below what you want to see for the next episode. I'm pretty much game for anything. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time.